Hi everyone, I'm Sander from Team 1641 Praise Part Robotics, and today I will briefly talk to you about worm gears. Worm gears are a great way to power a motor that has a heavy load uh, and to mechanically let it keep its position. Uh, in this video, I'll tell you how they work, how to use them, uh, and when to use them in your FTC robot. I'll use the worm gear set of Gobilda as an example because we used them last year, uh, and there are currently not many other uh, options available for FTC. So how it works, the mechanism has two core components, uh, the worm, which you can see on the right, and the worm gear, which is the left one. The idea is to put a motor onto the worm and then let it power, of course, uh, to turn at the worm gear. Other things can then be mounted onto the worm gear, for example, a shaft or a hub, uh, and then that can be connected to another mechanism which will then power the whole process. This is all pretty normal. Uh, you can do this uh, with just standard gears. Uh, the interesting part is, uh, is that the worm gear can turn uh, the worm. Horizontal rotation of the worm uh, can translate into vertical rotation uh, of the worm gear, uh, but not vice versa. This means that the mechanism only rotates uh, when the motor is powering it, and this will mechanically keep its position no matter how much load is on it. There are many different ways uh, to assemble a worm gear drive. GoBuilder has a few examples over here uh, with pretty good instructions. If you have the materials uh, and it fits into your robot, I would recommend going off of these manuals uh, because all the parts are specifically made for it so you don't run into it any other problems. Although last year we made our own configuration. We didn't have uh, room to let it lay horizontally uh, for the spool. So what we did is we used a two quad blocks and a plate uh, on the side with a motor powering the uh, worm. And we mounted it uh, onto the U-channel, which then has a um, shaft in it with, with a bearing on its end. And then, of course, the worm gear, which is placed uh, onto the shaft uh, with an 8mm Rex Sonic Hub. So, this is the assembly that we use. Uh, it worked pretty fine. Uh, the only thing to consider is that um, if you make your own custom assembly, you have to spend a lot of time uh, perfecting the position of the worm gear and the worm because uh, they have to be aligned perfectly uh, otherwise they will uh, wear down which actually happened to us last season where at the end of uh, our season uh, it wasn't really usable for another one also because there are 28 tooths uh, on the worm gear the speed is also reduced by a factor of 28 if you'd like it to be faster, you can just mess around with the gear ratios or you can just use a higher RPM motor, which is actually what we did. It wasn't the best option because the motor itself didn't ha have a lot of torque, which was fixed a little bit uh, with the uh, 28th reduction, but uh, it still wasn't perfect. The important thing is you can uh, mess around with it, uh, but it is something you need to keep in mind. All things aside, worm gears are a great and relatively cheap uh, tool to have in your arsenal. Uh, it's very useful in certain situations. For example, in this year's game, uh, Center Stage, uh, we need to climb on the trusses. This is a task that a worm gear set uh, could perform pretty well. Alright, uh, this was a brief overview about worm gears. I hope this helps uh, and that you learned something in this video. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback on our videos, uh, please leave a message in the comment section. And with that, uh, thank you for watching.